Hello and welcome to this roadmap video. For those who don't know, this is Random Workings, the channel where we talk, play, get do, and hopefully have fun along the way. And we are a UK based variety channel which has been posting videos since August of 2021. Our current roadmap should be appearing in August of 2022, which is year two, week one. And last time we talked was in March of 2022, which was year one, week 31. Our latest channel analytics have us at 12 subscribers, 522 public videos and clips, and viewers have watched another 49.9 hours of content. In this video, I will be informally covering general channel news alongside minor and major changes to content and the channel as a whole. Uh, hopefully, I will manage to do this without putting you all to sleep. If it wasn't obvious, I will point out this is a scripted recording primarily to keep me on track, but also to make sure I don't forget anything. Hopefully everything comes across clear, but don't be afraid to leave a comment below and I will answer any reasonable queries as soon as possible. Let's begin. So, what's gone on the news? This is just a quick run through of what has happened between the roadmaps in regards to channel series and events. There are no ongoing, on ongoing upcoming or planned events aside from the uh, one year celebration video which we should have had before this roadmap um, even if it's only nine minutes long it's still counted as a video so that's why the hidden folks uh, episodes that would have been today have been moved back a week series wise the bits pathway which is what this roadmap is part of hasn't had any changes uh, to series uh, makes hasn't seen any changes although i potentially have a planned item coming up um more on that later does saw miniature painting uh kind of going to hiatus on week 45 episode 59 in part because i was struggling with getting camera set up and also because one of my uh tools was misbehaving to a level where it was making things very difficult plays has the most that's gone on uh Def Leap. Uh, ended in week 48 at episode 53 that was our longest running one besides PUBG and the first one where I finally I went straight for, the main one that allowed me to develop so much so far uh, Among Us uh, ended in week 37 at episode 20 that was just a small a small series based on events that happened at Christmas but it may come back it may not so for now it's on hiatus Hidden Folks, which I mentioned uh, a little while ago, started at uh, week 50 and is currently at episode 6, episode 7, 8 will be next Monday. It's, like I said, they push, got pushed back because of the one year celebrations. There are some planned future players ones. At the moment I'm looking at uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker, Dark Souls and a few other puzzle games to come along and fill in some spaces. Random Workings is now a year and a bit old. I say a bit because there were about two or three weeks uh, during which I was getting the channel set up and plans in place. So that was when things like the feature video first came out. Or the first version of it anyway. Uh, is the channel going as expected? Pretty much. Um, I have said this in previous videos, but I'm going to say it again. I didn't do this channel to get viewers. I'm not a fa It's not a fame thing. That was never my primary goal. The whole thing is sort of a memory vault um, with a few added portfolio potential bits but uh, if it brings about enjoyment for other people that's a big bonus. Uh, I will not produce something without some effort and thought placed on the viewer experience and in fact most of the changes you see around the channel and site are done to improve that viewer experience. It's just good practice and manners. If you ever have a problem with something, even minor things, please Put a comment down underneath the video and then I'll try to adjust my setup to remove or reduce the issue. Obviously there are things that I can't fully control um, but I'll do what I can. Same with if you really like something because then I can try and boost that positive energy. Please do not promote things in the comment section uh, unless you ask permission first. I will remove such things regardless of how uh, some people say that leaving comments improves the uh, algorithm for getting viewers. Uh, I don't want these things personally and I don't want viewers hounded by ads uh, especially through a communication method that I have at least some control of 
I don't put ads into things, that's a YouTube or copyright holder thing. Am I still having fun with this project? Yes. Am I still learning new things? Yes. Do I sometimes choose to make things much, much harder for myself with projects such as the compilation video? Yes. I will probably never stop doing that. Um, I get really into grand designs uh, without much thought into the actual implementation specifically the time and energy needed to actually realize the design um i also easily feel compelled to finish what i start uh, especially if it feels like a promise to other people regardless of whether or not that adds more stress and potential impact to other already scheduled items experience might help me uh, remedy this but due to the infrequency of these issues, only time will tell. Now the infrequencies are due to the fact that it actually takes me quite a big reason for me to fully get motivated in almost anything. One key development hurdle I face is the need to be braver. By that I mean I need to allow certain things to happen and accept that other things will happen. So firstly, I need to change things. I need to stop saying we rather than I. Uh, we was meant to sound inclusive, but it's just me making the decisions. There is no other team uh, members. There might be like external people who I ask for uh, help with reviewing a video, um, but it primarily acted as a sort of escape mechanism for me. You know, a, a distancing tool to say I'm part of this, but also not the front of it. Um, but I need to start saying I am the front of this, this is my responsibility. Uh, I need to start uh, allowing for more periods of silence and also talking to myself. Silence lets people zone in and out of, of, of um, zone into the videos out of, just out of it if they're trying to do something alongside me and also makes easier crop points. Although if I'm playing a game and it has background music, these crop points may get a little fuzzy. Uh, talking to myself out loud is just a thought process and it's actually one that some people practice on purpose. Uh, this practice is usually referred to as rubber ducking or whiteboarding. I need to allow for open-ended or long series. In fact, I ask the viewers accept that these are potential items. Some games are not designed to end. So usually there is a small plot you can follow if you want to have uh, just something to do. Uh, this mostly uh, involves survival games, so Ark, Don't Starve, Valheim and Subnautica. Uh, other games literally take days to just mainline and more time if you want to 100%. If you check the How Long To Beat website, Elden Ring takes 52 hours just to mainline it and 131 hours to 100% because I do more than just mainline and also I tend to wander around I'd obviously fall between those two numbers if I was to do Elden Ring in 30 minute stints and if I wasn't uh, doing anything but the mainline and I also wasn't doing it in a good pace without getting too distracted that would be an entire year of 30 minute videos with two every under. So that'd be another year long series. On the note of open and long ended series, I am not planning on doing survival game series uh, ever again, or rather big games uh, with friends, except for maybe special occasions. Uh, firstly, it's often hard to choose where to trim down the footage for a survival game because all of the resource and base management is actually part of the that game. Uh, genre specifically. Um, the only exception to that is large inventory sorting periods which are more obviously capable of being cut out. Uh, I've also found that I get bored quite quickly with survival games or reach a rage mode because of the lack of some form of structure. Um, so the rage period is when my expectation expectations of what I should have or be able to achieve at a set point doesn't match what I'm actually able to achieve. So in Ark, for instance, uh, regardless of my level and my gear, any dinosaur I come across seems to beat me up quite easily. Um, the other issue, 
the reason I said not with big uh, games with friends is because conversations happen. Now, what you might find is that I'm doing something that you may consider boring, and then my friends are talking about a fight with a dinosaur they're having, or have just had. So you get this cool sounding adventure with a boring front thing. So it kind of gives you a, list, uh, a desire to go do that, which also makes me want to go do it, which also can lead to me uh, not progressing as well as I could. Um, it also makes cuts a bit more awkward, especially if the conversation isn't key or super interesting. You might have half a conversation, then a cut, then half of another conversation, or just half of a conversation one side of the bit, which can make viewer confusion. So I've gone and got myself some tech upgrades. This is basically a series of Elgato items, specifically arm mounts to help with the camera positions. These, along with some more art supplies, should be able to assist with getting things like the miniatures painting back on track and other things that require physical world recording. Um, I don't have a green screen, so there's still not going to be a face on video game uh, series, um, unless I really, really need my face on. <laughs> Um, when I do get a green screen, I'll have to do a, a desk setup adjustment as well because I've got a window over there and there's not really enough space behind me for a green screen at the moment. Windows updates are a pain. Um, is my next point is because uh, often OBS will lose a lot of settings when uh, Windows does an update, usually a major update, less so minor ones. Um, it's particularly audio that it affects, and then I have to remember all of the places to look in order to get everything working again. And because I've not got to the practice, I don't often test my settings before starting a big recording session. So I can end up doing an entire recording session and having absolutely zero audio, which of course means lost content. I am trialling audio ducking, um, which is... Well, I'm going to start trialling audio ducking which is when one volume alters the loudness based on the loudness of a different clip. So what this means is what it's going to be is it's going to be game, music or sound is going to be lowered when I start talking. So that should help with recordings because I won't have to do adjustments myself um, later on, hopefully. Uh, I'm also going to have this happen with the chat so my voice will always be louder than my friends and in turn their chat voices will be louder than the game audio as well so it's be, it'll be me chat game audio and hopefully it won't be pushed down so low that you can't hear it very well uh will this audio ducking help well that's why i'm trialing it and only time will really tell so expect about 10 episodes and then for me to decide uh, as well as audio ducking, I also went and got a record splitter plugin for OBS. So this uh, automatically takes 30 minute chunks of recordings, um, which uh, helps me keep file sizes down and hopefully eases output and content creation. So what it does is I think it I think it simulates me clicking the button to stop and then start the uh, recording um, itself. What this means, however, is there's a small blip between the recordings of about one second during this toggle phase. So on a combat game, or really big games, uh, with lots going on, that might not necessarily be a problem, um, especially if it happens to sit in the right place. I say happens because in a big recording it might not happen at the right time. But this blip can have trouble with puzzle games. So um, there's one in the Hidden Forks game, when I started using this, where I think I might have just as they missed out on me spotting a person and clicking it. Um, which is slightly annoying because it means that that piece is missing. Um, another problem with this blip is that it's not really big enough to warrant putting a transition in. Because putting the transition in will actually cut off more either side. Um, even a small amount. Like I said, not so much on bigger ones. But it's a bit annoying on puzzle games. And this also doesn't make sense to have a one second blip covered up with a transition because it's literally almost the exact same scene going on between the two. 
Uh, OBS version 28, which is currently in beta, um, and should fully come out maybe in two or three months, is actually going to have an inbuilt splitter, in -built splitter function. Uh, how this works, I don't know. I'd have to do more research. If it does the same thing as the plugin, uh, I'll still have that one second blip. If it does something else, don't know what, I could end up with much smoother and less obvious transitioning points. Uh, we are continuing with visual updates as well. Uh, I've updated the start cards, content warnings and notices. Uh, primarily as a further declutter to ease information dispersal during the small windows of viewing you get for these ones. So start cards are only about 8 seconds long, content warnings and notices are usually about 10. Uh, one of the biggest changes you'll see is I've taken off the randoms off the front of the start cards. Um, this is in part because it was actually quite distracting, but also because I was actually ending up putting more randoms on. Uh, I think there's one schedule where I've actually gone up from the original 8 to about 12. And this is because I had made more emotions and was like, oh, I've got the emotions on the front. I should put all of them on there. And it basically became more cluttered, so I've removed them. I've increased the size of information shown. And, um... Uh... I've tried to make it so there's only four items you need to focus on on the start cards. What the series is, uh, what type of series it is, the episode number and then the age rating. Uh, contents warnings follow with a contents warning page. And the notices are just the contents warning without pre-set stuff. Uh, I've also added key information to the start cards such as a little series finale blip. Um, and improved things like the stamps I use on the scheduling. Um, another visual update is that I have added a fast forward graphic. Now this is an on-screen overlay, um, I might put one now, uh, even though I won't be fast forwarding. And basically I'm not going to fast forward beyond 200% but this is to show you that I am fast forwarding. The reason I'm going to stick to a limit of 200% or times 2 is to stop visual and audio issues becoming too extreme. If you've watched PUBG, uh, where I've done speed ups and also been on a motorbike, you'll notice there's a very annoying pitched um, sound from the bikes. Uh, another reason to limit it to 200 is actually it's easier for viewers to readjust those areas to watch at normal speed, uh, because you only have to watch it at half speed or 0.5. And also it makes compilation grabs easier. This is primarily true about the fact that if I went to 300% speed, which is quite fast, it's actually very hard to then pull it back at a later stage because you've got to, to, to turn it to 33.333 recurring percent in order to actually be perfectly back. And obviously recurring means it never ends. So it'd actually be somewhere about 3.34. Three, three, I guess to stop it or free 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 and then just say no more after this which means it's not exactly accurate okay something i hinted to earlier is in the news section is some series ideas so i will be doing dark souls soon i promise i've been promising that since day one i think um but i am probably going to pad out the time time with some other small puzzles like hidden folks a to get my backlog for a bit free but also to give me some time to get some actual episodes ready. The puzzle games may also become the second video to fill the does day or Thursdays um, so that I actually have a full schedule during the week of two videos a day. Um, that is of course dependent on if miniature painting comes back straight away or if I again use puzzles to pad out that while I make miniature painting backlogs. Makes wise I'm looking at doing a coding series now I'm doing a coding series, not a programming series, because coding series lets me include web design because programming is coding, but coding is not programming. It's to do with logic involved. Um, this coding series would be the second Tuesday video, so you'd have graphics in the morning followed by coding on the afternoon. This is potential, like I said, but I really like the idea of doing coding, so that's why I'm going to do that. Um, thing on the arc series 
uh, I'm going to probably get quite salty in it because I do hit a rage period. Um, but I'm still going to keep going for the, at least the last couple of, uh, the last episodes. But there's actually, based on record time, about 27 more episodes. Um, it'll be less with tailoring, which is about 15 more weeks of content. Uh, and with that, I think I've covered everything I had planned, um, or at least that's what my script tells me, which means it's time to say thank you and goodbye. And you know what? I might as well stick that compilation video from earlier in here as well. So please enjoy that. Bye now.
Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Wee. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> for sticking through to the end of this video and if you like what you saw and want some more why not hit the like button maybe subscribe and then check out one of the videos or playlists soon popping up on the screen or just head over to the channel for even more options already subscribed then hit the bell icon here or on the channel and get notified when new videos go live as well as being here you can also find us over on twitter and instagram links are provided in the description below but either way it's bye for now and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day